have biomedical chemistry. Uh, biomedical therapies basically change the body chemistry and the drugs are given. Now, what are the uh, effect of the drug? The drug actually changes the behavior of the mind. So it affects your mind and it just simply polishes your mind. So you get a new insight about things. And with the use of drugs, the rate of hospitali hospitalization significantly declines in mental population. Uh, so if we uh, say that at this point uh, where we started using antipsychotic drugs in 1950s and 60s you can see a steady decline in the population of the mental hospital and that indicates that drugs have been one of the good ways to actually uh, treat patients so how do we test a new drug whenever a new drug is released there is lots of enthusiasm in the market and some double blind procedures are done that means we are trying to have a placebo and experimental group and we try to create a study where the experimenter and the experimentee both of those uh, do not know what the conclusions would be so neither of them are aware about the things now in this case what is done is this double blind uh, this uh, this study which is conducted and according to this there have been three categories of drugs as i said antipsychotic anti-anxiety and antidepressant then we also have for mood disorders bipolar diseases but these are the broad classifications that we have seen antipsychotic drugs as the name suggests are used to treat patients with psychosis they are used to also treat schizophrenic patients so psychosis predominantly includes bipolar disorders and schizophrenia as we have already understood in our class on disorders uh, now schizophrenia uh, the person undergoes both positive and negative symptoms what are positive and negative symptoms we have understood positive are the symptoms which are actually away from the reality so illusions hallucinations and negative symptoms are those where uh, we want a person to be but uh, the basic symptoms which a per person should have but does not have for example flat mood uh, uh, no emotional changes are kind of negative symptoms so there are various kinds of positive and negative symptoms which are associated with a uh, psychophrenic personality and in schizophrenia we have seen that these uh, symptoms which are unwanted are introduced as positive symptoms and those are used um, antipsychotic drugs are used to treat those both positive symptoms as well as negative symptoms thorazine is one of the common drugs however it comes with lots and lots of side effects dry mouth dizziness blurred vision effect on movement uh, sometimes sedation uh, fluid retention weight gain are some of the uh, side effects of antipsychotic drugs then we have anti-anxiety drugs under anti-anxiety valium and librium are the two important drugs which are given now similar to alcohol they depress the nervous system uh, system activity they are most widely abused drugs and they actually don't solve the problem there can be drowsiness dizziness sedation sometimes upset stomach nausea diarrhea uh, dysfunctional sexual behavior can be seen because of anti-anxiety anti drugs so those are some of the side effects of anti-anxiety drugs we can say but yes they depress the nervous system make a person relax for a time period and therefore reduce the level of anxiety reduce the level of stress the next is antidepressant they make person happy so they lift up uh, lift you up out of that depressive episode and they increase norepinephrine in your body however with antidepressants the common side effects which are seen are shakiness anxiousness being sick indigestion stomach aches loss of appetite uh, sometimes it could be lack of sleep hypersleep uh, headaches so those are some of the common symptoms of antidepressant drugs which are given okay so antidepressants actually take you out out of the depressive episode and they increase the uh, nor they increase the transmission of norepinephrine which is the neurotransmitter so those are antidepressants now